Oh, hello. Hi, everyone. I'm going to tell you a very exciting Christmas story that happened to me a couple years ago. Every year for about the last six or seven years, my family and I have been invited for, hold it, the Kardashian-Jenner Christmas party. I know, you're jealous. This is a good one. So I have three kids, and the party starts at 5 o'clock on Christmas Eve. And we go to church, so the first thing I have to do is like start getting ready at 1 so we can go to church at 4. And I have three kids, and my youngest at the time was three, and his name was Brandon. And so first we go to church, and I'm dressing pretty slutty for church because it's a Kardashian party. I want to fit in with Kim, Chloe, and Courtney. So I'm wearing something like even skimpier than this to a Catholic mass. And um, so my three-year-old starts squirming and, you know, being bad in church, as kids do. And he um, was, like, rolling on the ground, so I go to try to get him, and my heel got caught in, like, an electric cord for a nativity set. And I fell on top of him, and my skirt flew up, and it was, like, double Spanx, nude, uh, like, for the entire congregation to see. And my three-year-old son is like, get off of me, lady! He's a horrible child. Okay, so we go to, finally we're on to the Jenner party, and I'm ready to like have some Vouv champagne and really have a great time. We drive up to their house, and my son starts freaking out because they have eight huge seven-foot nutcrackers on either side of their door, and my son at the time is terrified of nutcrackers. <laughs> terrified. So he starts running away. I have to grab him, and I'm like, no, Brandon, you know, you better not cry, you never better not pout, whatever the story is. I'm not big on like kid stuff. So he, um, he's like, all right, just cover my eyes, cover my eyes to get into the house. So I'm covering his eyes and there's Chris and Bruce Jenner and Chris is like, what's the matter doll? Merry Christmas. And I said, oh, my son is just, he's really scared of nutcrackers. But once we're in the house, we're fine. And she's like, oh, nutcrackers are my theme this year. We go into the house, and every single thing in the house is nutcrackers. Like, every ornament, every cookie, every cup, every drink. And so he's freaking out, like having a complete, like, poltergeist meltdown of a child, demon child that he is. So I'm like, oh my god, what are we gonna do? And she's like, snaps her fingers. She has elves that take care of the kids. So they like cleared the kid room of nutcrackers. And I was like ready to get my party on. So I'm drinking, I'm taking pictures with Kim. We're tweeting them. Um, I mean, this is pretty amazing. I'm basically the fourth Kardashian. So now the professional Santa comes, who's been doing it for like 10 years and coming to their house. And she has a present for each kid, you know, based on their age. So I'm seeing that all the three-year-old, three, four-year-olds are getting huge nutcrackers as their gift. So I tell my seven-year-old son, who's getting a Lakers shirt, because Lamar was on the Lakers at the time. I know he's on the Clippers now. I keep up. Okay, so I say, can you trade with Brandon so that he doesn't freak out? And he's like, no, I don't want a baby nutcracker. I'm like, I'll let you eat anything you want. That was a huge mistake because there is candy everywhere, like in a, it, just bowls, bowls of candy. So by the time we get home after like drinking, me drinking, you know, I'm not driving, and my kids eating all that crap, we're minutes from my driveway, and my son goes, I don't feel good, I don't feel good. I'm like, just make it, just make it to the, we're almost there, just make it. He completely pukes. Then my next child, who's 11, is like, oh, I'm going to get sick. That child pukes. Now the poor three-year-old who's strapped in the car seat, I'm trying to get it, him out. He's feeling sick. I'm smelling all the regurgitated, like, Skittles and Coca-Cola and candy. And, I mean, I've had a few drinks, so I'm feeling pretty gross. And I try to unsnap that frickin' car seat, which is so hard. And, with, and I'm leaning in there trying to get it between his legs, you know. And all of a sudden, the three-year-old pukes all over my Kardashian blowout. So, Merry Christmas. That was my Christmas Eve. Thanks, Chris, for the candy. And, uh, but I'm looking forward to going to it this year. Also because my kids are older and they're not scared of nutcrackers anymore. They think we're pretty good. Merry Christmas!